Thank you, Chair Stargell and members of the committee. My name is Jerry Theodoru. I'm a director at the R Street Institute, a public policy organization. At R Street, and earlier as a property and casualty insurance market analyst, I analyzed the conditions and the drivers of insurers' results. I used to analyze the financial performance, the rich data sets that are required to be filled out by all insurers and sent to the state insurance regulator, which are fed in turn to the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. That's the data that we used. Florida homeowners insurance business is a money loser for insurance companies. Two financial performance indicators that are used to uh, measure the health of an insurance company are the loss ratio and the combined ratio, which measure underwriting results. The loss ratio is losses divided by premiums. The combined ratio is losses plus expenses divided by premiums. In 2021, the combined ratio for the homeowner's insurance industry nationwide was 103%, which means that for every $100 that insurers take in, they pay out $103 in losses. So you may ask, well, how can they operate like this, losing money on the underwriters? Well, the reason is because they have investment portfolios that typically generate about 800 basis points of benefit. So that offsets the loss and leads to a profit margin of about 5%. That's for the overall national picture. Florida is different. In 2021, the combined ratio for Florida homeowners insurance was 120%. And Florida homeowners have comparatively small investment portfolios that only contribute about 100 to 200 basis points of benefit, which does not offset the underwriting loss, the large underwriting loss. And for this reason, insurers have been leaving Florida or not entertaining new business, non-renewing policies. And what's more, several insurance companies have declared insolvency. Mr. McGarry mentioned a few. There were four in the last two years that have become insolvent, and there are many that are hanging on by a thread. They're in the emergency room. Property casualty insurance insolvencies are rare events overall. Typically, in a year, there's about four to six companies that fail out of a pool of 1,500. So 0.3% of insurance companies uh, go into insolvency. Florida, though, there have been 80 Florida-only homeowners companies that were formed since Hurricane Andrew in 1992, and of those 80, 20 have failed. That's an extremely high fatality rate for the insurance industry here. Another important number where Florida is an extreme outlier is in the uh, defense costs and containment expenses. The commissioner mentioned the, uh, that area that's also reported. And nationally, this accounts for 1.2% of premiums, whereas in Florida, it's 6.2%. So it's extremely high. And in a market of $11 billion, the Florida homeowners market, there was $815 million of these uh, costs uh, in, in Florida, it's multiple of what it is in uh, the rest of the states. So these elevated litigation costs are a key to identifying the root cause of Florida's problems, which are litigation. And this is the cause of the dysfunctional insurance market in Florida. In uh, 2021, Florida insurers were served with over 100,000 homeowner insurance lawsuits, 100,595. And the rest of the country, all 49 states plus District of Columbia, only had 24,700. So these are the numbers that make the Florida situation anomalous. And uh, I am in support of the bill. Thank you for your attention and look forward to any questions if you may have. Thank you for your testimony, Dave. We appreciate it.